We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details, said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast, a small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. You're dead. What you she ran it.
Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? She's out there, Ray. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help. Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 caps out? I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like, shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that... We've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really... talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now.
project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home.
days out. Wait, that's not one of mine. Please up, Alan. We got visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Hi. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, I might not be able to rescue you in time. on the phone.
Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. Everywhere I go, nobody's got it easy. <laughs> no argument here. I think... I'm done cowering behind your damned hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Huh. Mainlander. Great. The whole took a battle. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside me. Today. 